Buenos dias, mis amigos. So, I just want to make a real quick point here. Yeah, yeah. And just in regards to uh, a video and a comment from Renee Roland. All right, and so she does a great job of uh, bringing up these uh, variety of subjects that are that are very compelling, very interesting, and uh, she's almost she's right a lot, uh, which is encouraging. But she got one thing wrong, and you know how I am. I'm like, oh, you got one thing wrong. I, here's an opportunity. Here's an opportunity, and so I want to take this opportunity. To um, maybe uh, teach somebody, I would love it for her to watch this. And um, but she's big time. I'm nobody. All right. So uh, I gotta find a comment now. I apologize here. I don't know what I'm doing. But the the basic idea is right here. She's talking about the resurrection. She says, yes, they have. That was written before his resurrection, but at Jesus' resurrection. Many Old Testament saints were risen. And this is in the um, um, in response to uh, Acts chapter 2 when it says, even David himself has not ascended to heaven. And so the weak argument is that, well, yeah, he actually did. It, he didn't at that time, but then he did later. And then you have to go back um, to, um, uh, uh, what was it, Luke? One of the four Gospels where it says, When Jesus uh, came up out of the grave after the third day, many other saints also um, resurrected and witnessed in the cities. Uh, I'm not going to be able to find it. Okay. But surely, hopefully, you know what I'm talking about. Um, that regardless, I don't dispute what she's saying here. And I'd have to, doggone it, I'd have to do a whole another search on that. It, believe me, trust me, it's there. You'll see it. All right, so when this happened, okay, what happened is they came up out of the graves. All right, they did not ascend to heaven, and that's the real resurrection. Okay, let's go to Luke 20 or Luke 21, and you're going to get an idea. I think it's 20. I could be wrong. Somewhere in the Bible. Give me a second. Somewhere in the Bible, it, Jesus is asked about the resurrection. Okay, I don't know. It's I know it's twenty. What's the matter with me? What's the matter with me? I know it's twenty. So in the resurrection, uh, they're asking about well, you know, what about my brother? And then and the, the brother dies, and then the, the, you get seven brothers, and then and then they're all dead, and then who in the resurrection is gonna? Oh God, am I way off on this stuff now? There it is, right there. Therefore, whose wife of them is she? For seven had her to wife. And then Jesus, he, he makes it real simple. Okay, so let's start here. And Jesus answering said unto them, The children of this world marry and are given in marriage, but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world remember pay attention here Jesus answered and said unto them the children of this world marrying are given in marriage but they which shall be counted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage they're not having sex in the world to come All right pretty simple really pretty logical pretty simple pretty plain speech here neither can they die anymore for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God being the children of the resurrection 
All right, so this is a different resurrection than, let's say that uh, you keel over and some guy comes in an ambulance and, and he, he pumps your chest and breathes into your nose and all that sort of stuff, and he resurrects you from the dead. That's not the same as the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ that happens at the end of the world. Just like the circumcision of the PP, right? That's not the same as the circumcision of the heart. Just like the John's baptism of water baptism is not the same as the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ. See, there are natural things and then there are spiritual things. There is the flesh and then there is the spirit. Alright, so also when these guys came up out of the graves and witnessed to a lot of people when Jesus came, also came up out of the grave. That's not the resurrection. All right, The resurrection it happens at the last day. Now Jesus is the only one who has resurrected. He's the only one. He even says himself in John 11, I am the resurrection. Right? So who's the first resurrection? Ah, maybe it's Jesus, right? I mean, it's pretty simple. And then, of course, we can go to 1 Corinthians 15, where it says Jesus is the first fruits of them that slept. All right, so he's the first fruits. He's the first resurrection. And then, now, every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, the first resurrection, afterward they that are Christ at his coming, which is at the end of of the world. All right, so David still hasn't ascended to heaven. He will ascend to heaven on the day of resurrection at the same time as you and I. There's only one resurrection for those of us you know in this world on this earth, dead and and dead and living, right? First the dead in Christ, and those of those of us which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. There's only one end of the world. There is only one resurrection. Jesus is the first resurrection. He is the first fruit of them that slept. He has led the way for us, and those of us that follow him will follow him where he has gone. Right? So Jesus came into our body and he laid down his life and took it back up and ascended to heaven and we're going to follow him. He's our leader, right? He's led the way for us. Just as Moses has led his people out of the wickedness of Egypt, so also has the Christ Lord Jesus led us out of the wickedness of this world. Okay, that's it.